Anyways, today we're heading for a grocery. A weekly grocery. Ayan, nandito kami ngayon sa store, which is, andun siya. Andun sa bib. Para bumili ng water. Yung 5 gallons namin for one week. Kasi siya na yung sa amin dalawa. Across the store, there is already the sprout market there. So, dyan kami bumibili ng mga um, frutas and uh, fruits and veggies and you know, kasi mas ma maganda na compare namin. Medyo pricey nga siya compare sa iba na um, iba na store kasi more on ano siya eh, may mga yung mga organic na mga product nandyan more mga organic siya. Yun ang sabi. Okay? So, uh, we'll see you there. Ayan, karating namin. Let's go and dive into my hauling first. Well, we've got a chicken right there at the Sprout, which is uh, it's a herb season and it's natural chicken. So it's no, it doesn't have any antibiotic, antibiotics, hormones or steroids. It's humanly raised. We have beans. This is how we buy beans. Coffee beans, because my baby is a coffee colic, as you know. And then, talaga niya yung, nakikita pa niya yung beans. And then we have bread. By the way guys, yung iho ko is only only for one week. Kasi hindi naman kami mahilig talaga magbili ng mga good for two weeks something. No, we, rob, we want to buy something na weekly lang. Para at least fresh pa yung mga foods. Or fresh pa. And then, we have an egg, bacon, and we have sausage. And by the way, we, what we usually do, what we usually do is to list out to have already a menu in our mind before going to store, so that you are not wasting your time, and you tend to focus what you really need to buy, not what you want to buy. And then we have right now. Okay, we have um, chicken because I'm planning to make a, a buffalo chicken this week. And we have pork. I can um, make two meals from this pork. Organic lime juice. This is from the book uh, for my buffalo wings. Hot sauce. And uh, this is for my recipe spaghetti. And then we have um, white mushroom. Banana and carrots. We have onion. <laughs> That's a lot of onion. And then we have oranges. This kind of orange is so poor, you know. I'm very picky about the orange. Kasi may my orange na pag matitikman parang soury ang taste, which is not really enjoyable. And then we have vegetable, another vegetable which is broccoli. So, and then here's what I eat. And I've got this thing. This is my snacks. Here. So, what I would normally do. Ayan. Nilagay ko siya dito sa aking baunan. Actually, my leftover pa nga ako eh. Maliit na lang. Ito yung snacks ko guys. Tips ko lang ha kung... Tips ko lang sa mga nanonood. <laughs> Tips ko lang kung, kung gusto mong ayaw kumain ng mga bad food or mga something not good food. You know already that it's junk food. Huwag kang bumili ng marami. Pwede kang bumili. I mean, natural talaga. May cravings tayo. Right? We have cravings. I mean, I, I admit na kami din may cravings about ice cream, about junk food. At least, you know, once in a while. Okay lang yun naman. Pero... 
mas mabuting gawin is bumili ka ng iisa lang. And then, huwag mo siyang huwag kang bumili ng marami tapos i-store mo sa storage food mo. Kasi ang tendency niyan is mapapakain ka talaga ng marami. Say an example, if you're craving for something that is not really good, you know, um, like a junk food and it's not right there next to you, what are you gonna do? You have no choice than to deal with the food what's in the fridge or what's available, right? So, yan yung ibig sabihin. Yan yung na-realize Just my thought. <laughs> so, much better na kung bibili ka ng something, if, if, if it's junk food, huwag mong damihan. Huwag mong ano pa. Ayan. So, alam nyo, it has actually, it got, uh, it got, um, almond, raisins, and walnuts in here. Ayan. So, to sum it up, all of this cost $66.14. Now, kung masa, kung, ito yung, ito yung naiisip ko ha, sa, sa, for two years akong nandito, sa, sa, ibang bansa. Um, sometimes, mapapaisip ako na, parang hindi siya, ano, hindi, parang feeling ko, mas expensive sa Pinas, kaysa dito. Yung mga bilihin. Okay? If, Iyan yung thought ko kasi imagine sa ano kasi sa sa Pinas kasi yung let's say yung minimum uh, wage doon is ano ba ngayon 15,000 ba? I'm not sure but back then it was maybe 15,000 yung minimum wage. Yung 15,000 guys, kahit single ka pa parang single pero may responsibility, right? Alam mo yung single na may responsibility, hindi pa rin kaya how much more kung may pamilya ka na diyan. Ang na realize ko is ang bilihin ang cost of living sa atin is higher than what we earn in the Philippines. If I do my own math, parang yun yung ano ko pag analyze ko parang yung pinas is actually crazy expensive. I think yeah I think it's overpriced. Yeah because iko consider natin yung kita ng tao. And then yung bilihin guys, eh, hindi bumababa. So ayan, that's just my chicken for today. And until next time guys. This is your chiquita.